The extrapolation feature, that's, uh, that's something, that's another feature in reliability analytics. So what that allows you to do is it, it says, you know, how many failures can I, based on this model, how many failures can I reasonably expect in X amount of time? Um, and that, you know, that's very useful for us as a business, right? It, it, we, can, we can kind of give an accurate forecast of, hey, this is what you should, should expect in this, uh, in this site. Don't expect anything too rosy. All right, so uh, post-game analysis, this is the last sort of takeaways that we have is um, you don't have to use reliability growth solely as a metric. Um, you can use it as, as a compass. You can find out which direction you should go. For us, you know, they always say, I mean, you've heard a lot about how um, we have so much data and we need to know what to do with it. And I mean, they're right, right? Like at some point in, in human history, uh, the scarcity was, food, was land, right? Because you need land to make enough food for beyond the day. Uh, and then after, after land, we made machines, right? You make machines and now the scarcity is labor. And because you, know, you, you have, the, you have the, uh, the, the machines to make more food and more items than you need, um, so now you need the labor to do it. And then we move on to the age of information, right, which is what we've been living in. But you know, ever since, uh, I guess, the internet kind of exploded that arena, I would argue that you know, now it's more the age of attention, right? We have, there's way too much information to process for, for most of us. So we need some sort of um, catalyst to tell us which direction do we look in. Uh, this is one of those things. There's a lot of uh, sensory information for our, our functional experts. Um, how can we give them reasonable confidence that what they're looking at uh, you know, is worth their time, right? Um, uh, build, we need to build into the process. This is a takeaway. Um, you know, that's what we're trying to make sure that we, we uh, so to speak, hammer this into our, our work process as a maintenance excellence group. Um, that's, that's very important just for, you know, I don't want to leave this presentation and then have this fall on its face. I want this to be continually ingrained in, in, our, in our company. Um, understand the importance of data quality. Uh, take it seriously.